After dealing with a bit of a dip in our forecast into our Wednesday, a rebound is taking hold quickly here as we head into our Thursday with a morning low just around those lower 50s and an afternoon high into those 80s. So back even a few degrees above those averages. Now note that as we head here into our Thursday that we are signifying the official start to summer. Now that official start will come into the early evening, but we are seeing that this is the day that will include the most amount of daylight as we have 15 hours hours and eight minutes to work with a 526 sunrise and an 835 sunset. We do then technically start to lose daylight as we head towards that fall equinox into September, but note that it is a very slow loss. We only through the early August lose about 50 minutes, so we're not looking at a big drop in that daylight and we are now in the time of the year where we have these nice warm surfaces and that helps for these rebounds in the temperatures as again, we're back to normal temperatures here for our Thursday and we'll note that we even have more warming ahead. But before we get to that big warm up, we are going to battle a few storm chances here for our Thursday and Friday. And then we're going to talk about some sunny and hot conditions for at least early next week. But here when it comes to those rebounding temperatures, we're bringing that potential of some instability. We stay with that southerly flow, which brings in that warming, but allows for some of those thunderstorm chances to become possible as we step into the afternoon. We also know that with these thunderstorms, they are noting that there is a potential for few storms to become severe with a marginal risk in place. So a marginal risk is a level one out of five, meaning that in some of these more organized storm cells, a isolated storm could become severe with a potential of some gusty winds and some large hail. And we note that a lot of that organization here is going to come with a low that's going to be lifting out of areas of Colorado and that fires these storms up across the Colorado Rockies and areas of the Laramie Range there and sees that organization as it moves into the central and high plains. And that zone of moisture you can still see intact there across the Colorado Rockies there is going to build in with more chances for showers and thunderstorms into our Friday. So a few rounds of these rain showers and thunderstorms will even give us some decent rainfall, especially across areas of our Nebraska Panhandle, where again, more organization is likely, which can allow for some of those better downpours, as well as a better tap in some of that moisture that is pulling its way across the central plains and into the high plains. So general range of about a quarter of an inch to a half an inch, some isolated areas may receive a bit more. So we will feel again that warming trend here in place, nothing with skyrocketing temperatures temperatures where we overall here Thursday as well as Friday have a general theme of anywhere from those upper 70s to about those lower 80s. But by Saturday as we work into those brighter skies, those 80s continue to climb and even turn into 90s by Sunday. We'll continue to even talk about more sunshine in the 90s for at least early next week. Now Monday and Tuesday there are some small chances for a few isolated rumbles, but nothing that is looking to be uh, widespread or severe. So we'll keep an eye though on those threats.